And we're back with Courage My Love. Hey. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank you so much for yeah, having thanks. us. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, just to, we'll do some introductions to Mercedes, Phoenix, Arnhorn, and twins. And down there on the end, we have David Blake Dixon, everybody on bass. <laughs> so give it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so we have, we have lots of questions for you, both online, and I'm sure we've got some audience questions this evening, too. It looked like there were some excited folks earlier. So I, uh, I want to know some stuff about how you guys started. Where, where you know, I, you guys are both classically trained. Are you classically trained as well, David? No. No. Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> no shame, man. No shame. So, but it, uh, your beginnings, when you started in music and what you started with. Um... Well, we did something called the Suzuki program, and basically you learn like six or eight instruments, and then by the end of the program, you choose the instrument that you want to take. But we couldn't choose, so we just played like as many as we could. Okay, which, uh, which, ones did you, which ones did you take? Uh, piano, cello, harp. Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Know, a bunch, yeah. Okay, wait, how long did you play harp for? Uh, I stopped playing it around age 15-ish. I still okay. do sometimes, but... You yeah. should pull that back out. I know. Think. Everyone I, says I, that, too, especially my mom. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that would, I think that would be cool in some of the tunes, actually. Yeah. Okay, and what did you take? Yeah, like, I pretty much did the same thing. Um, yeah, piano, cello, harp. It's weird. The Suzuki program doesn't have drums, so I don't really know how I got stuck with that. But whatever. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> so, well, how did you get there, then? Did I don't know. Like... Like, when Sades and I were starting a band, she, I don't know, she's killer at guitar, so we thought, okay, you kind of have to play drums. But I, I'm down with that, because I love drums, and I, I don't know, I, I just taught myself for the first little while, and then eventually I just took some lessons with some friends, but yeah. Okay, cool. And David, have you, have you taken bass lessons, or did you, you just had a love. When did you start? Um, well, when I started with... Uh, music, I guess it was piano. Well, I did like kinder music, which is kind of like the Suzuki program, only a lot more relaxed and <laughs> lazy. Uh, <laughs> Baby genius version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so I started on Glockenspiel. I played that for aww. six months. Wait, that would be an aww. aww. <laughs> You're making me blush. Uh, <laughs> and um, so I did that for a bit, but I started really on piano. Um, and I still learned from, like, the conservatory, but I never did my exams or had to, like, do any grading. And then I started bass in grade nine because I wanted to be different, and I didn't want to play guitar. <laughs> There's bass players in the audience. There's one. I, I heard one person clapping. Uh, oh, come on. Other people joined in there mom. for a second. It was your uh, yeah. Yeah. There are literally, like, dozens of bassists. There are dozens yeah. of us. Um... <laughs> But no, uh, so I started doing that, and then I got bored because bass is really boring when you're sitting alone in your room playing bass. And so I switched to guitar, and then uh, they needed a bass player, so I picked it back up for that. Yeah. Nice. So wait, how old were you guys when you when you started then? That whole process, the Suzuki process before before choosing instruments. I know we were newborns when we started it. <laughs> we, wow. We were like six years old or something like that. Yeah. It was pretty young. And we started the band when we were 14. And we didn't really get that serious about it until we were 15, so. That, that serious about yeah, it. it right, serious. right. <laughs> OK, so, um, so 14, when you guys all joined together, OK? And um, how, did, how, did you, how did that happen? Like, did you, was Courage My Love the name you guys chose first? Was that? Uh, uh, yeah, like, we had a bunch of different names going, but. It, uh, choosing a band name is really hard because you want it to sort of <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> drummer over here. <laughs> oh, poor drummers. I know. <laughs> we wanted the band name to like embody, you know, what the music was going to be like. But you also want to choose a name that you're not going to... It's kind of like a tattoo. You want to choose a name that you don't want to regret years later. So uh, we chose a name that we thought was kind of positive but not too cheesy. And it's from like a 1936 movie, so yeah. That was my next question. Where it, I, I know it's from an old movie. I couldn't remember which one it was. What was the, what was the movie? <laughs> it's uh, Things to Come, Things and to it's come. 1936. It's a sci-fi movie about zombies. It's now awesome. everybody's gonna go home and watch that. <laughs> yeah, 